Okay, everybody, today is uh, January 5th, 2015. I'm uh, just going to do a quick video here to uh, just uh, get a little update on some of the uh, gold miner stock that we've been monitoring. Uh, as you recall that I have uh, put up this post on uh, December 30th, you know, in my blog on the, uh, you know, talk about uh, a few potential setup. And uh, we're essentially, uh, you know, looking at setup for... Uh, like uh, five of those, uh, you know, some of the uh, gold miner and the ETF, and those were uh, these five down here. And today, uh, I actually got uh, three of them uh, got triggered. Uh, you know, we've been kind of waiting for that. And the uh, first one I'm going to take a look at is the uh, 3x, uh, you know, gold miner uh, ETF NUGT. And you can see that uh, actually uh, gone above uh, 1233. That was a trigger level, which is the high of this particular candle here. Uh, and uh, so we uh, switch over to the intraday chart. Let's go and take a look at the 30-minute chart. You can see how it uh, got triggered. And, uh, you know, when it opened open up, it kind of traded in the uh, first 30 minutes. Then on the second 30 minute, the first half, first hour or so, it came back down. So it kind of you know, fluctuating uh, between this, uh, you know, up, uh, this uh, 1233 level here. So if you got the uh, limit order or, or a stop, uh, you know, a buy stop order uh, up at that level or a little bit above that, uh, then you probably got uh, got fill on that. And then it probably, uh, you know, put some heat on you a little bit uh, throughout the uh, morning session as it pulled back. And you kind of wonder, uh, is this trade going to work out? But as we all know, eh, you know, once we get a trade, you got a trigger, all we could do is, you know, take the trade and just manage the risk. We have no idea it's going to work or not. And it's just a matter of uh, let it trade. And you're not going to find out if you don't take the trade, right? You know, so so then in the afternoon, it kind of came back up. And you can see that once it cleared at 1233, in the afternoon session, it just kind of took off. So right now, you will basically just kind of manage or, or stop now, you know, because originally we got a stop level down here, somewhere around 10.07, so probably slightly under that. So, and also I got a little blue line here, basically just a little bit of a short-term trend line here, just kind of give me a little gauge of the trend, and I could use that to assist me to uh, set up a future stop level. And looking at these uh, intraday chart, kind of give me a little bit of a uh, more uh, resolution looking at these pivot level for me to establish the uh, the stop. So it's all depends what your trading plan is. So I'm not telling you how to trade this thing, but uh, you know I'm just kind of give you some uh, you know tidbit on you know some of the things that I might look at. Uh, you know, so so as this thing move up, then I probably will move my stop up based on some of these pivot levels. Okay, so right now, you know, NUGT is uh, basically moving up. So we're going to just uh, kind of monitoring this thing and see how it works out, you know, in the coming days. Right? We have some level, some target here that we're expecting, uh, you know, kind of monitoring here is the uh, first target is somewhere around the 1674. So essentially, it will give us a two to one R and R. So we just have to uh, see how this works out when it comes up. And uh, maybe we uh, just let it run a little bit. So it's all depend again, you know, what your trading plan is. You might even take, you know, scale out, you know, once it get up to one R or something, or you start tying up your stop to the break even point when it get uh, to a certain level. So you know, and uh, what I'm trying to do is just uh, give you some idea on uh, some of the setup, you know, some of the trigger, and then you just go and uh, you know plan your trade according to your plan. Okay, and then the other one that we're looking at that I also got triggered is the uh, Junior Gold Miner ETF. This is the 1X. So you can see that it's also, you know, kind of got a nice break. And if we uh, take a look at the 30-minute chart here, and you can see actually it gapped up. And we basically have to wait for a while for it to come back down to get a fill if we, uh, you know, put a fill somewhere around maybe a little bit over $25 or so. You know, so, yeah, so you can see that, uh, you know, until almost to the noon hour before it uh, pulled back below it, then we probably got filled. Then, uh, you know, in the afternoon, it just took off along with the, uh, you know, the leveraged uh, 3X uh, gold miner. So, so you can see, again, I have this little trend line here to help me uh, monitoring uh, or, or manage my uh, stop level. Okay, so as, these, uh, as the price uh, work itself up, 
And I'm just uh, going to look at these trend line and also some of the intermediate, you know, pivot point to kind of set the uh, set the stop. And you know, I I tend not to stop where those obvious support level is, okay? Because you want to move away, and because if you set those right at this level somewhere, that could be pretty obvious, and maybe a couple penny below that is still probably going to get hit by the machine. So you might want to uh, set a little bit away that it doesn't look like there's any obvious, you know, level of support or resistance here. You know, so right now if we set it here, then it's pretty obvious. Oh, so, you know, on the initial stop, then we set it. It's okay because you know we don't want to go and stretch it out by too much because if we're wrong, we're wrong, right? You know, I mean, we give us enough leeway for this thing to uh you know to to go and uh and and, and make this uh, move so you can set it below you know so slightly below this 2273 initially you know to for you to calculate your you know your you know your risk and how your position size and that sort of thing but for example if i were to uh, set a stop i might find somewhere in there between this midpoint here so it's not much of a uh you know, any any resistance or any support level here, you know, rather than sit it right here, right? Because if we could uh, go back to the daily, we probably could see that, you know, this this low here could be some obvious uh, uh, stop level that uh, the machine might be targeting it, okay? So again, you know, our first target is somewhere around 20, 30, 29, 36. It should give us uh, close to the 2x, you know, return here on a risk. So, uh, but, uh, you know, once it get up there, we could uh, see how it run uh, because if it uh, get up and, uh, you know, break this downtrend here and it could get up this thing here, that could uh, create some momentum for it to, uh, to run. Also, again, you know, it's all depending on how much, you know, what kind of price action uh, does it in, uh, uh, incur, you know, how did it play out before it get here, right? You know, if it already kind of consolidate and get here, then it might break too. But if we come up here, then it hit this as a resistance, then it pull back. Then that's a different price action. Then we probably will trade a little differently, right? So, so again, you know, trade your plan. I'm not going to tell you how to trade this thing because I don't know what your risk tolerance is, you know. So, and uh, here's this uh, angle go. Also got trigger. You can see it's the uh, same similar type of candle. It's just like a hangman or, or a uh, hammer type of candle here. And again, we switch it to the intraday, uh, it's got, you know, 30 minute, and we see that, uh, you know, it kind of gapped up and then it pulled back and kind of chopped around between this level here before it took off in the afternoon. And uh, again, I have this trend line here. So when the spice getting you know, moving away from a trigger level, then you might want to tighten up your stop so kind of, uh, you know, minimize your, uh, you know, your risk as the uh, price move up, okay? So uh, basically, uh, that's a, a little bit of a quick, uh, you know, uh, update on uh, these particular three. Uh, the other two haven't uh, triggered yet, uh, the, uh, you know, ABX, the uh, Barrick uh, Go, you know, so we're still waiting for this thing to trigger. But again, like I said, you know, in the previous video, you don't want to overload uh, too many of these uh, gold miner uh, uh, in, uh, you know, in your portfolio because then, then you're basically putting too much risk in one particular sector because they're going, they, they basically all move in a similar, you know, uh, uh, direction or, or similar uh, price action, right? So if you already got in, and you got your, uh, you know, your, your basically your risk, uh, uh, you know, set up, then, uh, you know, just kind of monitoring it. Even though, you know, let's say ABX, you know, Bear Gold got the trigger and also uh, your mana uh, also uh, get triggered later on, you know, you're not going to trade those, okay? So just uh, trade what you already have uh, uh, established, uh, you know, out of those three and just... Uh, you know, just manage uh, any, you know, that particular trade and just ignore the uh, trigger of this thing because you're just going to be uh, overexposed on your risk in one particular sector if you're going to take every trigger that comes along. Okay, good luck.